Ruth here, and this is my second purchase from Homemaker. And my first purchase of a, uh, I don't know if this is actually a full collection or something. This was the, as you can see, Invisible Image that kind. Invisible Image May release, oh, May 2024 release of the uh, Stampin, Stampin Stencils set collection, whatever. And I bought this as an added thing because I was eyeing into my large bits of wheels in the basket. And this one, these two embossing folders. It's the A2 embossing folder Asian influence. So what the title is, and it was £6.97. And um, all of this was uh, at a discounted price of $64.99. It's got quite a lot of things in the uh, set. So I believe it says 34 stamps and 5 stencils. And um, technically this came separately. So I even got a uh, in the, uh, you know, thing. We even got the uh, all items marked on your invoice for the F are going to be sent directly from the supplier. Notice. But, you know, I'll just do this first because it's out. So I have to open that package. And, uh, funny enough, when I got this, I had no idea it would come in long ways like this. <laughs> it just came in with a little white envelope and a bubble mirror that was, you know, that size. And I didn't think I ordered something that size, you know, but uh, when I opened it, it turned out to be two embossing folders that look like this. <laughs> So this is a Perfect Pairs Collection Bamboo and Koi Fish. I don't know if you really want to know, but uh, I guess the code. Oh, and these were made in 2014. Nice. Um, by the Craft Concepts brand, I believe. Universal Embossing Holders. Works with leading embossing and die cutting machines. New 15mm wide slot feature. <laughs> Perfect Paris Collection Asian Influence. The bamboo one is a CR900123A. The bamboo one looks really nice. I don't have one like this. I do have a bamboo trellis. Embossing holder from Spellbinders, but nothing that, you know, bamboos and uh, leaves. Yep. And this one down here, and by the way, this is real old because this is really dusty. Never mind it saying 2014 on it, but anyway. Down here, you got some koi fish and uh, I guess lily pads or something? Or lotus pads. I don't know really. I mean, it could be lotus root and whatever. Lotus flowers, maybe. Who knows? Or it could be lilies. Kind of hard to tell, right? Really. Interpret as a rush, I guess. This is a CR900123. And just the, uh, I guess, both of them together, you just CR 923 is for the ARB. Even tells you how to use it. Cut the paper, place it inside the folder, press the folder and paper through your embossing machine. Use your embossed paper to create fantastic designs. <laughs> and those are the designs. They have other designs as well, which I guess means. I quite like the music for the, the dancing and uh, this music one as well. They also have basic mist and die shapes. Also, no So, whether they're still available? I don't know. But there you go if you're interested in any of them. 
You wanted the codes of flowers, I think. Okay, so that's it. So that's that, that's that, that thing. Now, we'll see if putting on the sideline helps. We'll have a look, see. It's a very long zip lock right here. Shall we do the stencils first? Because they're at the back. Now let's see. It's got names on them. Okay. Here are orbs. That's the crown, it is. Oh, that's good. I have no clue. Anyway, so this one is a orbs. This one says Stardust on it. Very nice. And this one says Art Spheres number one. And it's got this smiley face that uh, came out of the circle over there. And Art Spheres number two. Are you ready, like brush stroke or could be like a coffee stain under the cup. Very lovely Asian chair kind of symbol roller. You can use that as like on top of a paper umbrella. Lovely ones. I have leaves obviously, most of most flowers maybe. Okay, this one is set. And then Painted grid. Oh, that's okay. So these were the stencils. Excuse me, yawning. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so. These, at least these two, I can't remember if the cat one was in it as well, but these three go with these two here. So this is Magical Unicorn, with the unicorn, magical, they have a Happy birthday, make a wish. Another silhouette, a silhouette of the unicorn, not like a detailed stamp like this, as you see. And this will probably be the only unicorn stamp I have in my collection. And then we have Enchanted Fairy. So this is the stamps from here. Make your own magical. Enchanted. Got some stars, circles. Now I've seen the silhouette stamp on this thing over here. The one mark on the back says, If you see a fairy ring in a field of grass, lightly step around, tiptoe something. So basically, don't stop it yet. I think it's the message. <laughs> so that's that one. Pretty much really probably. And then we have a cat-tastic background. I'd rather be a cat. This is the sentiment. This is just that huge cat background. That's those. And these two Asian ones go with, I guess, these three down here. I believe. 
So first up, we have this very beautiful Calm Over Chaos set with a beautiful light silhouette of the lady with the kimono as big lines, not a silhouette, like a block, you know, full silhouette, just, yes, I'll show you my reverse in a second. That's some cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms on the uh, branch. Meaning the symbol. More cherry blossoms. We got Serenity. She was calm over chaos and uh, some of the characters. Some calm characters there. Very lovely. Then we have Resilient Bonsai. So we've got Lovely bronze archery. We got some more symbols down here. Resilient growth takes time and patience. We have some kanji letters text. I've seen the character before, I don't know what that one was meaning. I'm pretty sure I've seen something similar. This one. But I can tell you that this big one here, very thicker one, I believe means luck, because I do have a wall scroll with that on it. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, I think. Unless I can't remember my characters. I mean, that's the only one I remember. Well, I do remember one of them. But, got yeah, resilient. The other text got like the circle, so I guess you can use that as like a sign or something. And this symbol again has a stamp instead of a stencil. And then some more stuff. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. And it's the only other text stamp I have that's not in English. So, that's everything. I mean, we did get it for these and more of these. But I did want the, uh, the fairy and the unicorn. Possibly this one as well. But, um, yes. So I got the entire thing. I don't normally do that very often, but. I didn't want to pass up on this, especially when it's discounted uh, on the uh, launch show. So yeah, um, I can't wait to start something. Currently, I can't wait to get to sleep, so I shall bid you all adieu. Thank you for watching. Over.